just spent the night hard on the bottom and the tide seems to have come up enough that I think we're floating again so I'm gonna get us out of here we ran onto a shoal because it was marked to be eight to nine feet of water at low tide and it wasn't uh, we hit and then the tide went out three feet from there so our bow went down, we heeled over to port quite hard. Uh, it felt like walking around in a fun house because we weren't sailing, but we were very crooked. Uh, now the tide's up about four feet higher than before, so it's a ridiculous tide here. So I think we're floating, and the tide's supposed to keep coming up for another hour. So I'm gonna get our anchor up and get us going and get us out of here, back into the channel where it's much deeper and we shouldn't run aground again. Yeah, you can see the current rolling past us and it is really fast moving through here. We currently have a foot and a half under us, which is so much better than last night when we had zero. Well, it's morning and it's freezing and we spent the majority of last night like mm, 10 degrees or more heeled over because there was a four foot tide and we were anchored kind of on the bottom. And as the tide went out, our boat just went and so I was like smashed up against Herbie and like our whole world was just like tilted. So that was interesting. And then the tide came up and we straightened out and uh, now we're good. And we're about to go under another bridge. So I'm gonna help out and then I'm going back to bed. You can't wait on other people to be what you've been called to be. You can't wait on their affirmation. You can't wait on their approval. You can't wait on their support. Listen, listen to me, hear me. Sometimes you just gotta run and look behind you and say, everybody who wants to run, run, but I can't stop running because you're not running with me. Oh, oh my gosh, I just had a minor heart attack. Listen to me. Actually measure our message. Yeah. Okay, that was really close. We're gonna get sails up now. I'm going to raise the sails. You can't stop chasing your dream just because somebody in your life won't chase it. Through. You can't stop believing in yourself just because somebody in your life won't believe in you. We are doing six and a half knots. We're on a beam reach through the boat sound and we are running our generator to keep the motor topped up because we're using it as well along with the current. Now we're doing 6.6. .6. So we are cooking it. We need to make nine miles in by 10 o'clock. That way we'll be at the halfway point. So I'm hoping that if we make it to there, when the tide starts going out at 10, we'll go with it because we're on the other side. Two, three, four. So this waterway is super narrow and we're actually afraid of switching drivers because we're worried that in that split second that no one's at the helm, we'll run aground because it is so narrow. The waterway is about 100 feet wide and after that we would hit the bottom because it's about two feet deep. So on that note, I'm at the helm and she's commanding all the sails. She got stand up now. She's put Monty up with a reef. She's working hard here today. Just finish this hat. On to the next one. Here you can see we have crossed the halfway point on 
in the Bogue Sound and we're hoping that once we get past it the tide will kind of carry us forward. We've been really lucky to have the tide with us from <laughs> the point where we started on till now and uh, it's really been quite a pleasant ride. We're happy. You can't wait on other people to be what you can call them. You can't wait on their affirmation. You can't wait on their approval. You can't wait on their support. Sometimes you just gotta run and look behind you and say, everybody who wants to run, run, but I can't stop running because you're not running with me. Listen, listen to me, hear me. You can't stop chasing your dream just because somebody in your life is chasing I'm down here because it's cold and I am super grateful for our electric motor right now because it's just so quiet. I mean, I forget that it's even on. And we do have the generator running outside, so that the generator is louder than the motor, which is crazy. Uh, we had our doubts about the electric motor in the ICW, and it's just doing beautifully. The winds have calmed down a bit, and our speed's dropped. We were doing between six and seven knots, and now we're doing four. So, Eddie's gonna come out and shake out the reef, and we'll be full sail again. One thing, the there's not much information on the water in the boat sound. Uh, they'll tell you the current and what the tide is at the Beaufort side, or Moorhead City side, and that's it. And what we're doing to see what's happening is uh, we're looking at the pilings to the day markers, and we're looking to see which side of them have any. And it looks like right now we're at slack tide. So hopefully, as the current goes out, we go with it and not against it. <laughs> the winds are good. We're on a broad reach, so I'm not worried about being blown over to the edge of the channel and running aground. And we're just trudging along at about four knots, so not as fast as with the motor, but definitely a lot more peaceful because we don't have to have that generator going. And we're coming up on a spot that I think we're gonna drop a lunch hook. And honestly, in my entire life, I've never dropped a lunch hook because I've never made it anywhere by lunch. So this is gonna be a first for me and I look forward to it. So I honestly thought the Bogue Sound would take us two to three days to cross because the there's no room to sail. Either the winds are perfect or you're gonna be fighting it. So I thought we'd be fighting it and I hadn't really looked at what we were going to do after the Bogue Sound because I didn't think we'd get that far. And here it is, 1040, and we're almost at the other side of the sound. So this is, this has been really awesome. So once we get over there and we eat lunch, I'll look at where we're going to go next, where we'll anchor for the night, all that kind of stuff. We did it. We're coming up on the last bridge of the Bogue Sound. After this, we're pretty much on the other side. We're past all the uh, really hairy parts. What's really awesome is that we're sailing all this. We, we don't have the motor on. We're just sailing right down the ICW at six knots. It's pretty awesome. Dunes! We were 
plocking along doing five to six knots consistently under just the sail because we're riding the tide because we never actually go that fast. It's just the water was carrying us that fast. And we crossed the inlet and now we are going against that same tide. So we were doing about two knots. So now we're motoring, we're doing 2.7 because we want to get to this little anchorage to wait for the tides to change to keep going to the next stop. Anchor's down. Time to get some lunch. We're anchored. Hot dogs. Mine has a blib. <laughs> there is a really, really strong current here. And our final anchorage for the night is going to be about a half hour further up the river from here or further south from here and we could go now but we just see it as we could struggle really hard to make our way through the water or we could just wait for slack tide so we're looking at waiting because this is a ridiculous current like the chain itself has a little wake we're just waiting for the tides to change and then we'll raise the anchor and finish our little journey for the day. It's been really, really relaxed. The sun is going down. We've been here for a while. We're going to we bundled back up and we're going to head to our anchorage, which is only a half hour away. So uh, the generator's been running, charging the motor bank, and we're going to go ahead and just truck it over there for the night, make dinner, enjoy ourselves, call it a day. So the reason we've waited the leave here is the current was really strong when the tide was changing and the tide is finally slowing down. It's not slack tide yet, but it's it's only about a half knot current right now. Before it was close to three knots. ICW cruisers. We're motoring with a really loud generator clacking away and we're going up the river or canal, whatever you would call this waterway system. And our anchorage is about 20 minutes away. This is awesome. Maddie's getting our sails up and I'm just steering us and trying really hard not to run aground because yesterday I kind of hit the record doing three groundings in one day. So, fingers crossed. We haven't run aground yet today and we want to keep it that way. It's a gorgeous sunset and I ran us aground again. So I did that. So anyway you can see our chain kind of just slides out to the side because that's what it does when you run aground. Retrieving of the mooring because I did it at night and it was pitch black. But you see the effects of retrieving the mooring? All the mud in the back.
super early for dinner. We're just gonna walk around town because it looks really cute here. This is a candy store. It's open. Hi. Oh, wow. It's only slightly upsetting. I, I just gotta know what a gummy cow tastes like. <laughs> These are my favorite. Mm. Can you tell my husband's a dentist? <laughs> Holy crap. It's a candy pizza. Where has this been all my life? I don't even know what to do with this information. Well, that was a much needed change. I think I needed something that wasn't a burger. <laughs> yeah. So, Mediterranean food for the win. Now we're gonna walk the mile back to the boat. So, in this episode, we're going to take you on a tour under the floor. The most important thing we have down here is our bilge cheese. Yes, it is wondrous. <laughs> oh, yes. Did you find it? Yes, that's it. Very good. And this is our forward sump. So, the condensate that comes from the air conditioner drips down into here, and then this pump dumps it out. Thanks so much for watching, and if you want to become a sailing buddy, you can click the link down below to our Patreon account. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel, and when you click subscribe, make sure you click on the little bell in the annotation. That way you get notifications as soon as our next video is uploaded. Thanks so much!